Hey everybody, it's John again. I just wanted to do uh, one last uh, finishing tutorial on Glogster here, just to polish your Glogs and get them out for your students to use or for, the, for you to use in your classroom. Um, so assuming that you have your Glog all ready to go, uh, I would make sure that you have uh, a name for your Glog. So up the top as you bring up the editor, there's a name there for your Glog and I'm going to call it Mr. J webpage or something like that. Um, just so that you can have an individual name instead of the Glogster ID, something easier to remember. Uh, if you wanted to preview your, your Glog to see how it's going to look in real life as the students would see it, you can hit preview, or you can hit save and publish. And by default, the uh, saving options here, once you have the, <clears throat> the uh, Glog finished, is that your Glog would actually be unfinished. Um, so you would actually have to move it to finished and save and publish. And you could give it a category and any tags that you might want to uh, tag it with to have your students be able to find it easier. And then you click Save and Publish. <clears throat> and what that will do is actually <clears throat> publish the blog to the web. And what you'll actually do is get a unique URL that you could then copy, paste on your web page, email to your students, or obviously share on any one of these social network websites. You also, very much like YouTube, have an embed code that you could drop into any web page or a PBWorks account or, or something like that. Um, so what I'd like to do is go back to the, uh, the dashboard really quickly here and show you one quick thing that we can also make use of. Down at the bottom of your account window, past your student accounts, is all of the blogs that you have created. And next to each one of those, you'll have both the link code and the embed code. So if you ever lose that, you can track that information down. What I found handy was to take the link code and in certain situations you can make uh, sort of a website out of your blogs and one way to do that is to take that link code grab an object on your blog and actually create a link from one blog to the next and so in order to do that I'm going to go down to the very bottom of my page to these little RSS feed icons and click the edit button and then click link and I'm actually going to paste in a link to a different blog that I have going which would be essentially page 2 to this page. Click apply, click OK to accept the link, and then save or publish that, and I'll consider that finished. So let me just take a second to update that, and I'll view this blog, and you notice that it's finished, but marked as private, and I can always change those settings later. But if I go down to the bottom of the page and look at that RSS icon, that now has a little squiggly that indicates that that's a link. When I click on it, it's going to move to the second blog that I have created here, Influence of TV on Students. So just another example of a way to move from one blog to the next, and that's how you do linking. Okay? Uh, I hope that uh, gets you started doing your blogs. Feel free to send me an email or look me up at trendingeducation.com and ask questions about how to do more with Clogster. Thanks.